Hi. Today I will be showing you how to create your first digital signage using Media Fusion Ultimate. At the top of the menu, you can see user account. You may change your password anytime. There is also the software manual for your reference. Under player information you will be able to update the player name, remarks or location. Right click on the player to see the options. You can also send instant commands to the player client. Player alert settings refers to the duration which the player is supposed to be operational. If during this duration, should the play be disconnected or down, an email alert will be sent to the administrator. Next, we will move on to media library. The media library lets you organize your media files and other digital assets. You can create folders and subfolders to upload to the media library server. In this example, I will create some folders for different media classes. Simply right click and select add directory and within each directory add media. Once the media is added, it will be uploaded to the media server. You can see the progress of the upload as well. Tips and Tricks you can add the media with a start and end date. This is particularly useful when you want to organize a playlist with different expiry dates. Choose the start and end dates using the calendar view. The media with an expiry tag will be indicated in red. I will create a few more folders, videos, banners, posters, of which I will add the media assets to respective folders. The video files are larger and hence will take a slightly longer time to upload to the media server. Media Fusion Ultimate supports a huge range of image, video formats. It also supports Flash. MP3 and web pages as well. I will skip create playlist for the moment and move on to template designer. It will be easier to reference back when you understand template designer. To start off template designer, you have to decide what display resolution your media player supports. In this example, I will choose 1280 by 768 pixels as my display canvas. Media Fusion Ultimate supports both Windows and Android clients. In this example, I will choose Windows. Tips and tricks You can minimize the menu bar to have a bigger workspace. On the template designer, you will find several display components on the left bar. You can drag and drop these components to the player canvas and lay out your digital signage. Each display component has its own attributes and options. Right click on them to change those options. For example, for the ticker text component, I can change the font type, font size and speed. Next, I am going to lay out the schedule media components. My intention is to create three zones. A banner zone, a poster zone and a video zone. You can also right click and input the size of the component in pixels. I am done with my banner zone. I will now drag another schedule media on my canvas. This is to be my poster zone. 
I will select a different color to this schedule media component for ease of identification. Next, I want to create an area for my videos. Likewise, I will also use a different color to denote this zone. Next I will drag an RSS feed component. Likewise, I can change the font size, font color or other options available. Now, we are done with our template. We can save it. In this example, I will save this as my template to Now that I have created my template, I will go back to create playlist. Recall, we have three zones for media. Banner zone, poster zone and the video zone. Drag and drop the media files from the media library. You can change the duration of the images and transition effects. You can also preview the media for playlist. Next, save this playlist. In this example, I will save it as Banner 1. I will now create the playlist for the poster zone. In this example, I added the media with an X3 tag. You can see the color denotation as black, meaning it will play in the future. After setting my desired transition effects, I can save my playlist. In this case, I shall save it as posters. Next, I am creating the playlist for the video zone. Likewise, simply drag and drop the media to the playlist area. You can open the playlist and edit further or delete the entire playlist. Click on the Playback Unit tab. To create the Playback Unit, click on New and select the template you want to use. In this case, I will use my template to, which we had created earlier on. On the bottom left corner you will see a thumbnail view of the template. You may go back to the template designer to edit any of the components. In this case, I am making some adjustments to the RSS component. The changes made on the template will be auto-updated on the playback unit as well. Click on Refresh to see the latest changes. On the available playlist panel you will see the playlists we had created earlier. Drag and drop the playlist to the zones. Next you can configure the date and time format. You may also customize your own format. For the ticker text component, you can add your text messages. Assign the rest of your playlist to the appropriate zones. To configure the RSS feed component, you need to input the source of the RSS feed. You may copy and paste from the URL of the RSS feed.
Now that we have completed the assignments of the zones, you may want to preview it. Click on the preview button. Depending on the file size, it may take some time to download the media assets for previewing. The preview window shows the exact pixel size of the display screen. Next, save your playback unit. In this case, I will save it as my playback unit 1. You can create multiple playback unit using different templates you have created. Likewise, I will assign this new playback unit. In this playback unit, we have the weather component. Again, I shall save this as another playback unit. In this example, I name this playback unit. My playback unit 2. Next, we are ready to create a schedule. Click on the playback scheduler tab. You will see a calendar view. To create a schedule, click on new button. You will see the available playback unit on the left panel. Drag and drop the playback unit onto the timeline. Right click to edit the time range. You can also have recurrence options and the start and end date of the campaign. Click on the next and previous buttons on the timeline to browse through the calendar. You may add other playback units on the timeline. Tips and Tricks You can create a playback unit block. Right click on the interval block and create a block name. Drag and drop the playback units into the block. The block will now be a combined unit for scheduling. You can drag and drop the block onto the timeline and configure the duration and recurrences. You will need to set the default playback unit. In case there are empty slot, it will play the default media. Next, save the schedule you are working on. Now that we have our schedule, we are ready to assign the schedule to the player. Click on Assign Schedules tab. In this example, I have grouped the player under a player group training drag the schedule you have created to the intended player or player group. Next, publish the schedule to the player by clicking on Upload button. For this demo, I will run the player client on my computer to show the end results. Thank you.